Why did South Sudan split from Sudan? Introduction, the split between South Sudan and Sudan, culminating in South Sudan's independence in 2011, was a complex and multifaceted process driven by historical, political, economic, and social factors. This video aims to delve into the reasons behind South Sudan's decision to secede from Sudan, examining key events and dynamics that led to this significant geopolitical change, historical context, to understand the split between South Sudan and Sudan, it's essential to delve into the historical context of their relationship. Sudan, as a unified entity, has a long history of internal conflicts and tensions between its northern and southern regions. These tensions stemmed from cultural, religious, and ethnic differences exacerbated by colonial legacies and successive Sudanese government's policies favoring the Arab-dominated North, marginalization and discrimination. One of the primary catalysts for South Sudan's secession was the marginalization and discrimination faced by its people under Sudanese rule. The predominantly Christian and animist population of South Sudan, largely composed of African ethnic groups such as the Dinka, Nua, and Shilak, faced systemic discrimination and oppression by the Arab-dominated government in Khartoum, civil war, decades of marginalization and neglect fueled armed resistance and rebellion in the South, leading to the outbreak of the Second Sudanese Civil War in 1983. The conflict pitted the Sudanese government, led by President Jaffa Naimairi and later Omar al-Bashir, against the Sudan People's Liberation Movement slash Army, SPLM slash A, a rebel group fighting for autonomy and equality for the people of South Sudan, peace agreements and referendum. After years of conflict and negotiations, the Comprehensive Peace Agreement, CPA, was signed in 2005, paving the way for a referendum on South Sudan's independence. The referendum, held in January 2011, saw an overwhelming vote in favor of secession, with more than 98% of voters supporting independence. This result reflected the desire of the South Sudanese people to break away from Sudan and establish their sovereign state. Resource control and wealth disparities, another crucial factor contributing to the split was the disparity in resource distribution and economic development between the North and the South. South Sudan, endowed with vast oil reserves, felt that its resources were being exploited by the Sudanese government in Khartoum, with little benefit accruing to the Southern population. Control over oil revenues became a contentious issue, exacerbating tensions between the two regions, ethnic and cultural divide, ethnic divisions and cultural differences also played a significant role in the split between South Sudan and Sudan. The North-South divide was not solely based on religious or linguistic differences but also on deep-rooted ethnic identities and historical grievances. The dominance of Arab culture and Islam in the North contrasted sharply with the African cultures and Christian beliefs prevalent in the South, contributing to a sense of alienation and estrangement between the two regions. International support The international community played a crucial role in facilitating the split between South Sudan and Sudan. Diplomatic efforts, led by regional organizations such as the African Union, AU, and the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD, aim to mediate peace talks and support the implementation of the CPA. International recognition of South Sudan's right to self-determination and independence further legitimized its secession from Sudan. Conclusion in conclusion, the split between South Sudan and Sudan was driven by a combination of historical grievances, political marginalization, economic disparities, ethnic tensions, and international interventions. Decades of conflict culminating in the CPA and the subsequent referendum paved the way for South Sudan's independence in 2011. While the birth of South Sudan represented a triumph of self-determination for its people, the new nation faced formidable challenges in building a stable and prosperous future amidst internal strife, governance issues, and regional conflicts.